one. Hey there, folks. I am the mighty plantain. Boosh is with me, and holy shit! Look at that. Look at that sexy beast. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You look younger. You look good. Actually, if I shave it completely, I'll look even younger. You'll be baby face Bouchard. The only problem is this is getting gray in here. Well, we're I noticed that when gray. I shaved. <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting gray, trust me. <laughs> mm -hmm. But damn, ladies, hit us up down in the comments. Tell us how good Boosh looks. He does. He looks fucking fabulous with that yeah. beard all trimmed up. You fucking cabbage patch kid looking motherfucker. <laughs> anyway. All right, what I, are we doing here? I, I'm just going to say, you know, you, you're looking good tonight. You are looking so good. I am finally going to give you a shot at something you've been wanting for a while. <laughs> uh, I am going to give you a chance to taste my spicy pickle. Oh, God, that don't look good. <laughs> this is wicked, and you know they're fucking serious because they put the wicked H in wicked, wicked pickle, spicy pickle flavored whiskey. Look at that right there. One stiff pickle. 35% ABV, which makes it 70 proof, and oh, there's a little something written on the back. This could be interesting, or it could be fucking boring. Let's find out. Oh, pick a peck of pickled whiskey for a flavor as bold as it is unexpected. A shot of whiskey is nice, but wait until you try it with a little pickle spice. Intense heat with a hint of sour. Try it on the rocks or as a perfectly pickled shot. Wet your whistle with wicked pickle. I wonder if they actually just use the spices they use for pickling or used a little bit of juice from the pickle, from mm. the pickles, pickles. Well, they did contain, they did use caramel color. It's uh, bottled by Holiday with an A, Holla, H-O-L-L-A, -L -L -A, Holiday Distillery, Weston, Missouri. Yeah, no, I, I started reading this pretty faster with a bit of a cadence because when they said pick a peck of pickle whiskey i thought they were going to yeah. continue like the nursery rhyme thing but they didn't they just yeah. started with it but yeah it doesn't say what's actually used but there is a picture of a pepper yep on the pickle a pickle and a pepper pick a peck of pickled peppers i don't know pecker i say, no, pick say a peck peckers. Of peckers. <laughs> oh, oh well yeah. anyway <laughs> so i'm guessing there is some uh, some actual pepper spiciness in this and look at that, the little Satan's pitchfork slash pip pickle fork there. So, yeah, <clears throat> give you guys a better look at the label. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna, I think we've exhausted anything you could say. I mean, not even close. There's tons of things to be said about a spicy pickle, but um, yeah, we're trying to. Do this nice and quick and well, easy. Actually, we're, we're thinking also there's a... Isn't there a Super Troopers uh, saying? Didn't your mama teach you how to chug? <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> I might be drawing... I know, it wasn't Super Troopers. It was... Uh, oh. Oktoberfest. Oh, Beer Fest. Beer Fest. Not Beer Fest. Not October. Beer Fest. You're just a slab of pickle. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Barry when he's drunk. <laughs> Classic movie. You guys need to watch it. Barry's better when he's drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. How <laughs> about a ZJ? ZJ? What's a to, ZJ? If you have to ask, you can't handle it. Now, when you poured it out, I could definitely smell. Yeah. They definitely use some pickle juice in that. Holy crap. It smells like... You remember the it, old scratch and sniff stickers we used to get in school? Yes. It smells like a scratch and sniff pickle sticker. Yep. Pickle yep. sticker. Pickle sticker. Scratch and sniff pickle sticker. There's got to be more I can add on to that. <laughs> There's a pickle sticker in your pecker, picker... I, I, no, it's serious. It really does. <laughs> it's got that weird, slightly chemical... Tang to a dist distinct pickle aroma. <coughs> I knew if I gave you a chance, you'd choke on my spicy pickle. And you haven't even put it in your mouth yet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm not getting any spiciness. I'm just getting that weird scratch and sniff yeah. pickle. And a little bit of boozy. A little bit of the booziness in the, in the, in the uh, whiskey. 
No, that is coming through. But yeah, it's really interesting. It's got it. Um, it has that. It also has the whiskey flavor. But I'm wondering actually. It's got no legs. What they, what they did with that to actually. I'll try and give you guys a little they swirl. Used, the camera. They use caramel coloring. Yeah, but none of the other ingredients are listed. Right. It's so got like probably, no legs whatsoever. I'll bet you they didn't even <clears throat> age it. Pardon. Or if they did, they did it the rapid age. Like kissed the inside of a barrel. Yeah. Possibly. I will put the stabs in or the, the, the stabs. The yeah. Stabs. Stabs. And, or the wood. Around. Or just the cube, the chunked up wood. That yeah. Made, and then they let it sit for a little, just a little while. Um, yeah, you never tried the moonshine pickles. The old smoky moonshine pickles is basically no. just fucking grain alcohol with pickles soaking in it. Yeah. Not bad, but this actually smells a little bit. This smells more, more like, like a pickle. Like you take a Vlasic friggin' jar and open it up. It does have that pickle mm -hmm. right when you first open it. It has that, that aroma. Absolutely. All right. We've been stalling long enough. Time to give it a try. Mm. Ooh. That's a slow burn. And you know what? You don't really taste that much of the pickle. No, I mean you I'm, taste more of the of the of the whiskey now. Yeah, whiskey and spice. I'm, I'm smelling a lot of pickle, but I'm not tasting a lot of pickle. Right, and I, I actually, what kind of pickle was it? Was it supposed to be dill or just a regular? Doesn't pickle? Say. I mean, I assume dill. I mean, who's going to make a fucking whiskey that has bread and butter pickle flavor? Right, and, and it, it smells like a dill. It does smell like a dill. It kind of has. As it evolves on the palate, it kind of has that uh, dill flavor. Second sip. Second sip, there's more pickle up front. It's basically a little hint of pickle up front. Very little in the first sip, but in the second sip, it's a little more pronounced. Slightly salty pickle flavor. Then you get a regular old whiskey burn. And after you swallowed it, give it a few seconds, and then you get a little woo yeah. spice burn. That's not bad. That's actually no, it ain't. I was half expecting this to be absolutely horrible. Honestly, it's nothing I'd want to buy and really drink all the time. But I'm not going to turn it down. No, it's uh, it's like less than twenty bucks a bottle. Yeah. So I mean, for for the. The proof, the, con the alcohol content in it, and the value, it's not bad either. It's a nice novelty. It's a great party yeah. drink. Um, a spicy liquor with actually a capsaicin spice instead of a cinnamon spice. Of, you know, Fireball right. and all those right. others, it's all cinnamon spicy right. liquor. Um, this actually does have a little bit of a spice more than, like you say, the cinnamon schnapp schnapps or uh, Fireball, like... Or hot damn, or something like mm -hmm. that. And that's actually sweet. There's exactly. no sweetness to this. Ooh, the pickle kicks in even more the more you drink it. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I can tell that. That's <sighs> not really a bad. No, I'm trying to think of something to mix it with, but honestly, the pickle and the spice together are kind of the best the best combo for yeah. this particular product. I can't think of adding a third flavor to this in any way, shape, or form that's going to change it. Unless you're one of those people who drinks pickle juice. Right. I but mean, you can add some of that, but yeah. maybe, why would maybe you splash it to Pasco? I, I don't know. Actually, you know what you can do? When you make a when you make an Italian, just take your finger over the thing and just give it a little give, give it, it a little, little spritz. spritz. Instead of putting pickles, yeah. if you don't have any pickles to put on, or yeah, and it'll give your your you might get a little bit of that flavor. Give your meat sandwich a little bit of a spicy kick to it yep. too. Yeah, not a bad idea. So yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I was expecting it to be awful, and it turns out to not be that fucking bad. It's actually pretty pleasant. Um, I wonder if actually if you put some pickles in it. Oh, soak a couple. Mm, there's an experiment. 
The only pickles I got in the house right now are those moonshine pickles, and they're looking pretty sad because they've been they've been in the fridge for over a year now. I think, <laughs> and they're all limp and wilty and bleh, gross. Matter of fact, if I give it a couple more months, I might only have pickle juice in that jar. <laughs> no, so. actually, that'd be one thing to try. Just put either that or, or just take a um, open up a jar of pickles. Dump out half of the half of the juice and put that in it and see what happens. It wouldn't be bad. I'm sure it would soak right in. It's oh yeah. Osmosis and all that. So yeah. Um maybe that's an experiment. Might pickle for the them a little more. <laughs> so it's gonna pickle me pretty good <laughs> by the end of the night. <laughs> but yeah, I it's it's definitely a unique conversation piece for a party. Yes. Pick up a bottle. I mean at less than twenty bucks you you can't fucking lose. Worst case scenario, you could sip this all night. Yep. It's not going to go to waste. I mean, that's not bad at all. And again, better than it's I surprising. Yeah, the only thing I can think that as a parallel to this is um, back in the day, I used to always keep pickles in the fridge, and that's the same <coughs> thing. And um, it was one day I picked up uh, Mount Olive pickles. It was just I just thought they were deli dills. Well, thank you, fucking Mount Olive, for making spicy pickles randomly. This was years ago. This is way back in the party days, by the way. The only difference between the regular dill pickles and the spicy dill pickles was this little itty-bitty fucking pepper icon. That's on the, on the label. Yeah, you can barely see it. And yes, it does say underneath Mount Olive dill pickles. It's spicy in very small letters. Yeah. Very easy to overlook when you're in a hurry at the fucking grocery store. Yep. Wanted a pickle. That's looking not bad, forward actually. To a, yeah. I was looking forward to a delicious pickle. Cracked open that jar of Mount Olive pickles. Ripped one out. Shook it off. Bit into a big chunk of it. And... Yep. I mean, it wasn't that spicy, but when you're not fucking expecting it, holy shit. Have you tried pickle and kielbasa? I think so. Maybe on a sandwich. Oh, wait, you're talking about the kielbasa that's floating around in the brine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not yet. Pickled kielbasa. They're actually, they're called smackers. Yeah. My brother could get them. I'd have to give that a shot. I remember. They, they, were, they were actually pickled in half an hour. Ooh. Those were good. You folks who aren't from Maine might not know this, but we used to have a whole bunch of different country stores, not a chain or anything, yep. but every country store you went into in the area, they would have, you know, it would have their own. Bob's Country Store, yeah. China General Store, Pepsi Pepsi. Yep. Was, uh, what's his name? Not Bob Marley. Um, Tim Sample. Yep. Pepsi Pepsi. Because they did. They had the same fucking signs over the door and the yep. two Pepsi logos on either side because this yep. is one of the two states in the nation that Pepsi consistently outsells Coke. Boy, we're off in the weeds on this video, but I'm going to finish my little story. <laughs> Every country store from here to, to the other end of the state, you could find up on the deli counter or the yep. uh, the meat cutter counter because a lot of them had the dedicated meat, yep. butchers in the because meat Because, well, counter. they were pretty much in town. They, in right. a small town where there's no... No big grocery chain. It was like the old timey general store. Yep. Um, but there would be a jar of a huge jar. <laughs> pickled kielbasa. Yep. Pickled eggs. Yep. And pickled pig's feet. Yep. Complete with the little fucking toenails floating around in that oh, thing. Uh, you grab that thing, you did a fucking you had pig knuckle and pig's feet with the little fucking Yep. The, the hooves and the toenails. And there was those the, huge jars that were about like that. Mm -hmm. They were like a gallon and a half. Mace, made by Mason. Yep. Had the twist-off top and the little tongs. You could pick up whatever gross thing you fucking <laughs> wanted out of there. Yep. I might try the pickled kielbasa if I can find it. And if it sucks, I'm going to come hit you. It's not bad. <laughs> At least that guy that my brother got it from, was he made it and it was pretty good. Nice. With habaneros and the juice, oh, that was stuff. That, that was good. Oh, lick your lips after a sip of that. I know you finished yours, but there's that spice on the tip of yeah. your tongue and a lot more of that I, pickle Even flavor. right now, I can feel it on my tongue. And there's a lot more pickle flavor yeah. like, when it's still wet. Yep. But anyway. So no, I guess, it's actually a very good, it, it really doesn't even need mixing. With no. Anything. <laughs> I'll drink this straight and I'll, this is 
this might be one of the ones that doesn't sit around in my liquor cabinet for three fucking years afterwards because I can always go back to my standbys, but I can I can drink this and finish it off if it's yep. you know if it's budget weekend and I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> I'll yep. drink I'll drink my wicked pickle. Anyway. Wicked, wicked pickle. Wicked. I gotta remember that H. Wicked. <laughs> so I guess that's pretty much all we got to say about it. I mean, it's it's not bad. Pick it up, try it for yourself. Hit us up down in the comments, the email link. Love to hear what you have to say about Wicked Pickle. Whether you like it, dislike it, you think we're right, or you think we're completely off fucking base, then let us know. We'll talk about it. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to drop some love for Boosh in the comments. That fucking baby face of his, ladies. I know there's like two of you who watch these videos. And so. only, that's only 70 proof, too. Yeah. That's there's actually not bad. Not bad. Tell him how good he looks. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Spicy pickles rule. Cheers. Keep drinking. <clears throat>